Hi and welcome to this DCP West tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to duplicate pages on WordPress and blog posts. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser. I'm going to go to this particular website that I've been building. Let's just open up the web browser here. And in the last tutorial, I'll show you how to create an under construction page, right? And we showed you loads of different things like how to create page, custom page titles, um, how to create a custom header in Divi Builder. But today we want to be able to duplicate pages. So if I go to pages here, let's, this is the home page right now. If I refresh it, we'll see the home page, right? Let's say I wanted to make some changes to this home page and I wasn't sure if those changes were going to be correct. Like maybe I'll change some pictures or maybe I rewrite some of the text or change something on this page, but I want to keep a copy of the original page, this original page, I want to keep a copy of it. If I go into pages here, there's no way to duplicate this page. So I'm going to go into plugins here. I'm going to click add new plugin. And when I click add new plugin, I want to type into the search here, Yoast duplicate. So I'm going to hit the enter key and we're going to see Yoast duplicate post here, right? And I'm going to click install. And then I'm going to click activate. So now I can go to any page or any blog post and I can duplicate it. So I normally do this when I'm working on websites. Now you can see there's a new draft. You can see this clone. You can clone the page. You can rewrite and publish. There's some few other options in here and we're going to click clone. Now normally I do this is if, if I'm going to make a change to a page, and I'm not sure if that change is going to be correct. It's worth making a backup. And, and whenever you edit pages on your website, it's probably worth making a backup anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and click clone and clone will create a draft copy of that page. So now I've got a backup of that particular page, right? So I can go into quick edit and normally what I do is just write in here the date. So I'll just write backup and then I'll put the date in here and it happens to be the 7th for the 3rd, 2021 and then click update. Now I've got a backup of that homepage. I can destroy this homepage. I can do whatever I want, but I've always got a backup. So if I go and click preview here, you can see that I've got an original copy of that page, right? The backup of it is going to be exactly what I want if I need to restore that page for any reason. Now, when you go into uh, your pages section here, if I click all pages, uh, you can see there's all, two, there's publish and there's draft. So normally I click on published, I'll work in here, but if I click on draft, I know I've always got a backup in here. So you can apply that same logic to blog posts as well. It's not only um, um, pages, on this particular project, I've disabled the blog post, but you can just go ahead and click clone on your blog post and you can rewrite the blog post. You can just clone it and rewrite um, the, the, the post as well, right? So if you've got a blog post that's similar, maybe you wrote one three months ago or a page that you wrote three months ago, you want to rewrite it and republish. You can click rewrite and republish here. Let's click that. And then it will open and then you can go ahead and rewrite your content in here and you can republish it as well. So we can just go ahead and click republish and then click republish here and then go back. And then we'll have um, a new republish page, right? Rewrite and republish. But it's always worth making a backup, right? That's most important. And then if you ever make any changes to that page, uh, you'll have a, a copy that's most important uh, when you're doing editing in WordPress or any CMS system. So uh, whether it's a custom system, whatever it is, just make the backup. Trust me, it will save you a lot of headache because if you go and edit something, you don't like it, you've always got your backup copy. And this backup is set to draft, so it will never show uh, to general public. It's just for you as a, as a backup page. Okay, so that's how you go about installing the uh, Yoast uh, duplicate post plugin. I find that very useful. This is kind of one of my go-to plugins. When I set up a WordPress website, I'm always installing Yoast duplicate. When I train my customers, I always say to them, look, before you edit a page, make a backup and then we won't have so many problems, right? You can always come back and we can always reload that page and delete the, the, the page with the errors in it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, minimize this. That's how you go about duplicating pages. You can also apply that to blog posts in WordPress. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I've got over 600 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects from Photoshop to WordPress to uh, logo designs to 
creating documents in Word, Word, uh, Microsoft Word, lots of different tutorials, even 3D animation, right? So quite a diverse channel with lots of information. But over the next uh, few weeks, I'm going to focus more on sort of WordPress tutorials and maybe we'll, we'll touch base on a few other subject areas as well. Okay, don't forget to like this video. If you want to learn something specific in WordPress, don't forget to comment in the YouTube uh, commenting where you can ask me a question and if I can give you an answer to that question, then I'll by all means I'll try and help you or we'll go and create a tutorial so other people can learn as well. So don't forget to comment and tell me uh, if there's something specific that you want to learn. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.